So it has finally come the day I've been waiting for it to redo our bedroom and the RV. I'm super excited about this. One of the first things to go is we are getting a new mattress, a nice big memory foam mattress. We've already taken the corner cabinet out of here. So now it is time to do some paint and some more paint. As you can see right now, it does look really, really dated, even though we removed that corner cabinet. The wallpaper is eh. First thing we do is remove all the cabinets and the hardware to get it ready for painting. Then we number each cabinet in the place that it came from so we will not get confused when we go and reinstall it. Then we remove the smoke detector and we are going to change out the light fixtures and get ready for painting. And then we had to sand the walls in the cabinets and we sanded some more and some more. And the best thing that we found out in order to clean the walls and prep before the paint is this Crack stuff. cutter. Crack cutter. And this whole bottle has lasted a long time, like a lot longer than yeah. I thought. We just use that with a microfiber cloth and it seems to work perfectly. And you wouldn't believe the amount of dirt that comes off. It's gross. Yeah. Remove the trim piece with a razor blade and it kind of fell apart as soon as we touched it. It was easy to remove. Then we filled in any holes with wood filler. When it came to painting, the best thing that we found was this bare scuff defense paint right here with stain blocker. It goes on really thick and you don't need any primer with it. Nope, right over the walls. And it went on pretty smooth. I think we did two coats. Two coats. Two cuts of this stuff. But uh, let's see how long it lasts. Hopefully a long time. Yeah. Never fails. As yeah. soon as you start painting, what happens? It rains. It rains. We're getting rained on now. Yeah. So um, we got to close up the windows. And... There's like a 10% chance. Yeah, there's like no percent chance of rain, but you can't trust the weatherman in Florida. For the cabinets, we went ahead and we used this kitchen primer. And we did a few coats of that before we went ahead and put on the paint on the cabinets. Uh, definitely two to three coats because it was bleeding through. It was definitely bleeding through. So we used about two to three coats on that. We took all the screws and stuck it in a piece of foam in order to spray paint it along with the hardware. And this stuff works amazing. Then we use kitchen cabinet and trim paint. And yeah. well, you can kind of see it here. Kind of. And it said two coats are required, but we definitely did like four coats, I think. At least four. I think if we were to redo this again, I think I would just use the scuff defense paint on the cabinets and see how it did because I wasn't too impressed with this paint. No, I think the scuff defense is more like an exterior paint. It was definitely a lot stronger. It was very durable. The mirror was glued on super tight, but we wanted to keep the mirror, so we decided to tape it off and to spray paint the mirror frame. For our counter space in the bedroom, we just used the contact paper, DC Fix contact paper, this marble design, and it was, as you can see, really easy to install. And it's got squares on the back. It got squares on the back to measure it. And a roll, depending on the size, is less than $20. It was super cheap and easy to use. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description if you're interested in it. It was good too. It works really good.
one of the best things was that we were able to use the same hardware and all we did was spray paint it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the hardware spray painted, but I think it looks great and amazing. And the same thing with the mirror. We're just able to spray paint it and make it easy. The only thing left we have in this room is a new bed spread and some blinds and then we are done. All of the products that we use are going to be listed in a link down below. So if you want to go ahead and check it out.